a mí me dijeron que este país era diferente. Pero no. As Karina Abando walks her son to school, she knows the clock is ticking. The 38-year-old migrant from Ecuador moved into the Rowe Hotel, now a New York City shelter, three weeks ago. But now she needs to find a new home. Hers is one of thousands of migrant families in New York's shelter system that have been told they need to clear out and either reapply for shelter housing or find their own way in the coming weeks. Yo le dije a mi hijo que, que aproveche. Aprovechen, disfruten el, el hotel que estamos un, con un techo ahorita porque ya nos van a mandar. Ya nos van a mandar y, y vamos a estar ya en, a dormir en el tren o, o en la calle. Y mi hijo solo se puso a llorar y dijo tengamos fe. Mayor Eric Adams' office says some families will receive a holiday reprieve, but no decision has been conveyed to many of the more than 3,000 families that have been issued notices so far. Ana Vasquez, a 22-year-old from Venezuela, is eight months pregnant. She recently received her notice to leave the Rowe Hotel by January 8th, less than two weeks after her baby is due. Pediríamos acá al hotel que nos dejen. Si no nos dejan, pues no sé qué haríamos. No tenemos como un plan de escape si no podemos alquilar. Es, es difícil la situación. Y más con un bebé. The first wave of New York's migrant families was expected to reach their 60-day shelter limit just days after Christmas. The city, overwhelmed by asylum seekers, has warned there's no guarantee they'll get to stay in the same shelter or even in the same part of the city. Those families are panicked right now. They could be hours from the closest school or the school that they are currently enrolled in. All of the services and the connections in the community that they've been building in the place where they currently are, all of that could go away. Many families fear they will have to go through the same process as single adult migrants who line up in the early mornings to petition for a new shelter stay. Some are able to secure 30 more days, others cannot. We are here every day. People are here every day. Even if you get a shelter, it's for a short time, like 30 days. It means you are not, you are not even going to sleep because every single day you are waiting for the guard to come to wake you up to tell you, listen, tomorrow you need to leave, you need to leave. Obando's 19-year-old son and his wife have already been forced to leave the Rowe Hotel. On January 5th, she fears her and her two younger sons will meet the same fate. Como madre, me duele. Está durmiendo en el tren, en la calle, con frío. Y si me duele mucho. David Martin, the Associated Press, New York.